my name is Jay and <laughs> I go to Pleasant Valley School. And you are how old? Eight, I mean nine, yes, nine. What are you here to do with us today? Um, Lightsabers. Say it again, please. Lightsabers. Okay. I believe you have a presentation. Do you want to share it? Yes. Um. Jay, I have your presentation. Your mother sent it to me. If you want, I'll share it and you can just talk. Okay. Would that be better? Yeah. Okay. So let me let me do that. Good job, Jake. Okay. Next time I'll have my mother send you my presentation as well. Okay. I think... You see it, right? Yep. Go ahead, Jay. And then yep. when you want to change, you just say next, and I'll go to the next slide. Neopixel Lightsabers by Jay Calderon, age nine, fourth grade. Next. Preview. What's special about Neopixel Lightsabers? What are lightsabers? How to turn on your lightsaber? How to change the volume, how to change the color, how to change the sword. Conclusion. Next. What's special about NeoPixel light tapers? The light goes up, up, down, and all around. They shine brighter and look more re realistic than RGB these because the light the LED strips go all the way up inside the blade while the RGB's LEDs are only in the handle. They have more colors and special effects. Next. What are lightsabers? Have you ever wondered what it would be like to have a real lightsaber and be a real Jedi? Well then, if you want to find out how to use a lightsaber, listen to me. Keep listening to find out how to turn on your lightsaber. Next. How to turn on your lightsaber. The first thing you need to know about turning your lightsaber on is to hold the button. Hold the on button. You will then hear it say, powering on. That is when you know the lightsaber turned on. You can also do the same thing to power it down. Next. How to change the volume. The way you change the volume on your lightsaber is you first have to hit your sword, but not hard. Lightly hit your sword, then at the same time, press the button. When you do that, it will say volume one or volume two, depending on the volume percent. The highest volume level is 10, but not really loud. But it is really loud, like a thousand. Next. How to change the color. If you are wondering how to change the color on your lightsaber, then this is how you do it. First, you hold the button and twist the lightsaber at the same time. If you did it right, the, short, the sword will change color when you twist it. The way you choose the color you want is by holding the button. Then you will hear it say color selected. Next. How to change the sword. You change your lightsaber, but not literally. I mean, change the sword characters, the sound fonts. The first thing to changing a lightsaber is to hold the button for four seconds to go forward in the list of sound fonts. To go backward, just hold the button for two seconds. Next. Conclusion. You have now learned to use the lightsaber properly. 
and can now turn it on and off. You also learned how to change colors and other things. I believe that everyone should get, have a lightsaber because they are fun and fa fascinating. Done. So are you going to give us a demo? I would love to. Oh, yes. Hey, Jake, can you move out from in front of the wind? There we go. Okay. Thank you. Oh, 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 I want one. <laughs> I definitely want one. <laughs> and it, um, can we help? What about the sound volume? Volume level three. Volume level four. Can you take it to 10? Volume level five. Volume, volume level nine. Volume level 10. Oh, wow. <laughs> That was very cool. The Dark Lord revisited. So, how is it that you're changing the color again? So, one second. Volume muted. Volume level two. Volume level three. Volume so I can either hold the button for four seconds or two the learner. or do it for two seconds to go backwards. The dog visited. Okay, this is very interesting, but we have a few minutes left, and I want you to talk about the other thing that you're doing. Oh. Aren't you entering some sort of a contest in two weeks? Oh, yeah. Yep. Can you show us what you made? Where do you see this, Jim? I made a battle bot. It is a ant weight. And... Can you show it? Yep. One second. <laughs> It's so strange. He's built this incredible thing. He shows the lightsaber. This robot he built is 10 times more impressive. <laughs> and it has a spinner. I just didn't put it on. Hold it up to the camera so we can see more about the parts. Tilt it. You want to tilt it? Oh. Jake, you have to mute yourself because you're taking over my screen. And Jay, you have to make noise. Okay. Um, I put in, I took off the spinner part for safety reasons because it won't dry correctly. So I, so I'm been use, tuning it with this, with my remote I got for it. And, um, Just put the parts together, or did you do soldering? No soldering. I thought you were doing soldering. Well, I will solder to take some weight off. And what what contest are you entering? Um. Connecticut Makerspace. And are you competing against other nine-year-old children? 
Um, I have no idea. Well, let me tell you, you're 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 competing against full-grown adult engineers. Let me let me assure you. <laughs> That's impressive, dude. How does that make you feel? Good. Can we see your face? Rock and roll. <laughs> yeah, you should feel good. That's impressive. What does your battle bot do? What's its specialty? It can't, the spinner turns on and it can drive around and And what does it mean that it's an ant class? It's a really small bot. Okay. That's logical. Very good. Is there anything else you want to tell us? Mm. How do you think you're going to do when you compete? Are you confident? Yes. All right. Very good. Well, congratulations, Jay, congratulations. And are you gonna do a demonstration on Sunday? Yes. Okay, okay, we have another meeting he's going to and he's gonna do a demonstration. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, you should be very proud. That was very exciting. Thank you.